So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a super delicious charcuterie board and I am featuring Bear's dried apple chips. So when it comes to charcuterie boards, I like to include a few different types of cheese for a variety of flavors and textures. Typically an aged cheddar goes really well with some soft cheeses like brie and blue cheese like Humboldt Fog and Shropshire Blue, as well as harder cheeses like Manchengo, Gruyere, or even Havarti, which is a softer, I would say it's a medium cheese. So after you get the cheeses you want, you're going to move on to the meats. I love to add the saltiness of a prosciutto, the spiciness of a Calabrese salami, and the classic Genoa salami. And you can choose whatever types of meats that you like. And then I also added marinated olives, and for the sweetness factor, I have some black raspberry preserves candied walnuts. On the fruit side, I have pomegranate seeds, kiwi, passion fruit. Also adding to the sweet side is a honeycomb and grapes and strawberries. So for the crunchy side, I added bears, apple, cinnamon chips, and you can also include some crackers if you'd like, but I really like the crunch factor of the bear chips. You get the chip kind of quality to it, the sweet quality to it, and it's just delicious. So let me know if you guys have ever made a charcuterie board on your own. What are some of your classic items that you like to keep on your charcuterie board? And remember, the best thing about them is that you can tailor them to your preferences. So in just include things that you really love eating and things you think your guests will enjoy too. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.